And former GOP presidential candidate and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, whose name has also been floated on some lists as a potential VP pick. Senator, it's good to have you with us. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So Absolutely. Good to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, you are already in New Hampshire, and you're going to stay here through, through Tuesday. You're going to be with a former President Trump that whole time on the campaign trail? Well, I'll be there tonight, and we certainly will have a rally tonight where we'll have the, uh, some of the former presidential candidates will come together with strong support behind President Trump. We need four more years of common sense. We need four more years of tax cuts, and we need four more years of actual world peace that we had when President Trump was our commander-in-chief. How hard of a decision was it for you? Obviously, um, Governor Haley at the time appointed you to the Senate. Um, I know you say that you went back and forth with text messages with her. Here she is responding to it uh, after your endorsement of, of Trump. Watch this. Yes, John Trump yes. And the show force in your home state. I mean, I think the main thing when you look at this is, first of all, was I disappointed? Of course I was disappointed. He's got to live with that decision. I don't have to live with that decision. She said, you're going to have to live with that decision, Senator. What do you say to that? Well, I made the decision not based on what was in my best interest, not based on what was Nikki's best interest, or even what was in the best interest of Donald Trump. My decision to endorse Donald Trump was what is in the best interest of America's future. And the more I thought about that, I came to really two conclusions. One was to stay on the sidelines, and the other was to endorse Donald Trump. I did so for three very specific reasons. Number one, when I fought for opportunity zones to bring more resources to the poorest Americans, Donald Trump said yes. When I cut taxes and wrote the personal side of the tax code, lowering a single mother's taxes by 70 percent, the president, Donald Trump, said yes. When I looked around the world, in the Middle East, in Eastern Europe, and in the Indo-Pacific, we had peace, peace, and peace, mm -hmm. stability. Why? President Trump brought stability because he understood peace through strength. That's well, missing. We need four you, more years of that. Um, is, sure. do you, you know, you've been discussed as a potential VP. Have you talked to him about that? And have you, you know, said you'd like to, your name to be on that list? I, ha I have not. The only thing I, I said to the president the, the night that I told him I was going to endorse him, which was just less than seven days ago, was the only thing I asked for. I'm not asking for a job. I've got a great one. I'm not asking to be in your cabinet. The only thing I'm asking for is when I need access for the American people and we're fighting for the issues, let's do that together. He said 100 percent. He, he, he's done it with me before. We've been a good team. and I look forward to doing it again. Okay. Um, congratulations on your engagement to Mindy Nose. Uh, you posted a picture you. of you yes. down on one knee. Um, you know, t t tell us, you know, how you feel about getting married, and when are you going to get married? Well, listen, uh, two weeks before Christmas, I, I went to her parents and asked for their permission, and uh, that started the process. I, I knew I wanted to do it in mid-January. I'm really excited. The date will we'll surprise you with the date. I'm sure that we'll get some coverage on that one, but I am so thankful to have found my Proverbs 18:22 and Proverbs 31 woman. Well, congratulations, Senator. We wish you both uh, all the happiness in the world, and we look forward to seeing you out on the campaign trail uh, here in New Hampshire. Thank you, Senator. We'll speak with you soon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.